Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Uh, I know these videos aren't getting views at all, but again, one of those things where I just, like, each recording session, I'm like, all right, we should probably put the focus on finishing Grogon, finishing Ninwin, but I just want to play Isaac, man. Like, to the, to, the, to the, like, three people that watch this series, I hope you enjoy it, because, like, I honestly just really like playing this game, and when I'm having a good time, it just, in my opinion, makes for the best videos. If only that translated to, like, doing as well as the Skyrim and Elder Scrolls and Fallout stuff, that'd be great, but it is what it is. Anyways, in this run, we're going to play Lilith, which I recently unlocked. The goal for us today is going to be trying to unlock the tainted version of Lilith, which I'm not sure when we ended last time if I even had any tainted characters. I do now. I have Tainted Isaac, which I haven't beaten a run with yet. I have Tainted Judas, which I beat. I'm not even going to spoil what I beat. The big thing with Tainted Judas. Uh, Azazel, I did a lot in one run. Tainted Azazel. How did I even do that? I thought that was a crappy... Oh. That was an insane run. Anyways, if you don't know, Tainted versions are basically just like... Um, the same characters in Isaac, but they have a completely different sort of mechanic. And I haven't played a Lilith run on this character yet. Or on the save file yet. So that's what we're going to do. Hard mode, Lilith, goal of mainly if we unlock Tainted Lilith, I'll be happy. That'll be the idea. Uh, I'm going to... I was thinking about not resetting, not being a dirty resetter. But the thing is, like, if I set out with a goal, if I load up an Isaac run and, like, I want to get a specific thing done, done, I'd like to just have... Interesting. I'd like to just have you know, a, a decent start so that we we might not, we might be able to do something decent and have a decent run and not just get absolutely destroyed by RNG. So yeah, I'm going to be a bit of a dirty resetter here. Reset until I get a decent item. And I will see you when that happens, unless it's here. No. See you in a second. Oh boy, that was rough. I kind of don't even want to take this, but that was a lot of resets without getting anything at all. This is Dr. Fetus. And this is going to be weird. <laughs> okay, so we're playing as Lilith. Lilith is a weird character for that reason right there. Lilith has a blindfold on, which you typically have when you are doing a challenge run. Because you can't shoot your tears. And you have to just, like, rely on whatever the challenge is. So, how Lilith works is she has this little familiar behind her. I think it's, uh, there's Incubus and there's Succubus. I don't know enough about, um, I don't know enough about, like, religious terminology to know which one's which or demonology, I guess. Uh, the Succubus is, like, the sexy character that wants to suck your soul through sexiness, right? Uh, but this is, uh, I think we can take this now. But yeah, I think this one's Incubus, which is a decent man as well. Uh, so yeah, Lilith does not fire tears. Instead, uh, this is so annoying. Here we go. Instead, all of her tears are fired through the incubus. And as you can see, it's kind of annoying because it's kind of shoving my... When we're shooting the bomb, it's like it's having the bomb run into me, which is making it pretty annoying. Uh, no, I didn't want to bomb the donation machine. Okay, we have five coins. We have a tarot card here. Let's grab that. Death will deal damage to everything in a room. So yeah, yeah, yeah the, the goal is to kill things with your familiar and not Lilith, which is which could be tricky because obviously you're firing from behind you, not really where you normally fire when you're playing Isaac. Don't want that. Now we found a secret room. Now the and the first item that we got is Mr. Fetus or Dr. Fetus. It's a reference to Su Super Meat Boy, another game developed by Edmund McMillan. Uh, and yeah, it turns your tears into bombs. So that's what we got going on. Now, the other thing that Lilith starts with is the box of friends use item in the top left. Remember, use items are the item in the top left. You can only have one use item. There's a way to have multiple, but typically you only have one. So yeah, Lilith starts with that. We're gonna go ahead and bomb this because these things never ever pay out for me. And I'm just gonna take the money. Thank you. Take the money and run. So yeah, she also starts with the box of friends, which doubles your familiars. The idea there, and I just realized that actually makes us have a really strong start, because watch this. So now we have Lilith versus Baby Flood the boss. We're going to hit the box of friends. Now we have two incubuses, I think. Okay, relax, relax, relax. And now we're shooting two bombs instead of just one, effectively doubling our damage, maybe? Whoa! Ooh. 
And I used my key for that freaking repentance zone by accident. That's really lame. Also, this is speed. Speed and range up. Range for bombs. Meh. And I think that's all we want to do on this first floor. Now, we grabbed an, an eternal heart, so when we go down here, we're going to get an extra free heart container. If you go down a floor with an eternal heart, it turns into a heart container with this big red uh, animation there. So now we have two red hearts and two black hearts in the top left corner of the screen. So, yeah. Weird, weird start. We have Dr. Fetus giving us bombs instead of tears, which is very strong, especially because you have unlimited bombs now. And that can be very, very nice, you stupid spider. But when, you, yeah, as you can see here, the, oh, the skeleton key. Okay, as you can see here, though, it can be really annoying when dealing with very small enemies and a lot of those. Okay, skeleton key for free is really nice. 99 keys and maxes out your key amount. Okay, please. There we go. Let's grab that again. Yeah, skeleton key is nice. Oh, that in one save file, I think maybe for the Nintendo Switch, that was like one of the last items I needed to touch. To touch all, because you need to like touch all the items eventually to have your like item list max. Okay, see this is annoying as hell. Because like, Lilith is body blocking the bombs. And I'm already calling it here. That's probably going to be an issue. Now if you're wondering what I'm doing by like bombing the walls, I'm checking for secret rooms and super secret rooms. Every floor there is a secret room and a super secret room. And since we have unlimited bombs and unlimited keys, oh, that's annoying. Oh, that's, yeah, that's why I'm not, I don't, I'm not a big fan of care. Ooh, free soul heart. Thank you very much. That's why you want to check sacrifice rooms, even if you don't intend on using them. Okay, that's, okay. All right, got to stop. Thought I got body blocked there, but in reality, it was just the rock. Okay, so yeah, Dr. Fetus is really, really, really good, but can also kill you, of course, because it's bombs. Can also really mess you up. All right, we're gonna open up some space here. I hate rooms like these. They do my head in because my brain just does not get used to the cycle. Okay, there's our item room. What is it? All the fly items like this, I typically don't remember what they do. Which one's this? Lost fly, lost protector. It goes around the edge of the the map and the room and does something. I don't even know. I, I, I tend to not pay attention at all to what the fly items do. There are some good ones, but most of them are just kind of like meh. Okay, now if I really wanted to maximize my efficiency, what I could do... Oh, also we're playing on hard, so once again, everything's faster now. I'm still not entirely used to it, but I am getting better slowly but surely. Uh, never pills. No thank you. I'm good. Okay. Bruh, normal poops like this do not target you, so we can take our time. There are other poops that will target us and rush us, but we're good here. Okay, there's that. Uh, that is Nose Goblin, which is a trinket that goes in the bottom left. And that, I think, gives you the... There's, like, another booger tier item, and I think it gives you a smaller chance to have booger tiers, which will stick to enemies and deal damage to them over time. This game is not gross at all, by the way. Uh, another secret room there, but it's red hearts, and we don't need red hearts. We are maximized on red hearts. So we are going to keep going along... Good. I'm pretty good with Dr. Fetus. It'd be famous last words, of course. But I feel like this would be an item that a lot of people don't like because it can ruin runs because you can bomb yourself. Now, if we get host hat or any other, like, explosion resistance, uh, we'll be doing amazing. I just had a run like that, actually. Okay. Pop box of friends. Double up our incubuses. Again, I think they shouldn't be succubus. There is a succubus item. Okay. Now, we're going to do that. And we're going to do that. Oh, it also doubles my uh, little lost fly protector in the top right. Box of friends. So, yeah, that's our use item in the top left. Lilith starts with it. Basically doubles your DPS because the incubuses normally deal your damage, right? So, normally you just have tears. And so, basically, it just doubles your damage for a room. Uh, and that's the idea there. But since we have bombs, that's like a massive upgrade. But any familiars we get will get doubled as well. Right now, we just have the starting incubus since we are uh, uh, Lilith. And we also have the uh, lost fly familiar we also have some item in the top right that lilith starts with cambion conception I, I forget what item that is like the newer newer stuff in isaac that hasn't been released with the new repentance stuff i'm not like fully even though i've done it all i'm not like fully well versed on it enough as like the older older stuff so yeah i forget what that item does i feel like it's like the more damage you take you spawn a random familiar i think that's what lilith starts with in addition to the incubus Okay, so this is tears up. It gives us a black heart and shot speed up. Oh, I thought it gave us a black heart, but I guess not. So we can fire more bombs now. And then we got a devil room over here on the right, 
but this is something I recently realized that if you don't go into the devil room, you actually, your angel room chance will keep increasing over time until you guarantee an angel room. I had no idea that that was the case. It used to be like you can walk in as long as you don't take a devil deal and still get an angel room. So I'm not even gonna walk in there. Uh, I'm just gonna go down. Wee! And I have to remember what our goal is. I have to remember what our goal is for this run. Because I, because it's still pretty new to me, like this new stuff and what we need to be doing. But this will basically be a walkthrough. Okay, yeah, let's do this. So as soon as you go into a challenge room and activate whatever chest is in the middle, it'll spawn three waves of enemies. I don't think we've taken damage yet, right? So we're doing pretty good. So that's wave one. Got wave two. So yeah, the strength of Dr. Fetus is you want to body block enemies with bombs, and that way you're guaranteed to hit them. Now these guys, any enemy that looks like that, that has like a kind of a gash in the middle, they're gonna do like a, if you're looking at, if they're, if you're in their range, they're gonna shoot you. So you just get out of their, get out of their like, you know, horizontal or vertical line of sight basically. That's the strat for them. That's nice. That's just a damage up for free. 1.69 damage in the, in the left over there. Nice. Okay, so yeah, gotta remember what we're doing here. Gotta stay objective to what my goal is, which is to unlock Lilith's alternate version, Tainted Lilith, which is really interesting. I've seen one of my moderators for Twitch play eee! Tainted Lilith, and I really want to unlock that. So I gotta remember how to do that. Basically, the way to do that, I gotta drop a trinket in a boss room or in an item room. Ooh, mini mush speed plus range up. We're kind of getting almost to the area of a little too much speed. Uh, and range and fire rate for bombs is kind of like, eh. Usually that stuff's really good. So yeah, you want to blow up all mushrooms because they can drop mushroom items. And we can get really lucky if we get a magic mushroom, which is an amazing item. Uh, yeah, familiars are good for Lilith, and Harlequin Baby is one of the better ones, I think, or at least it used to be. It'll fire a shot in a little, like, a diagonal pattern, which I will show off here if I can in a second. So yeah, now this thing fires, like, two red bullets like that, see? And yeah, since we're playing as Lilith, and since all of our familiars get doubled, we would like some familiars, yes? They all add to our DPS, and we're already good with the one item wonder, Dr. Fetus. There's another fetus item, Epic Fetus, which instead of the bombs does a, uh, like an airstrike, which I think is better. You control the airstrike. I don't know, eh, I don't know. Okay, no, 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 oh, come on. We were doing so well without taking damage, and then I bombed myself. So yeah, there's some items that give you explosion immunity, and if we found that, oh my God, we would be invincible. Like I said, I just had a run like that last night, so I don't expect to find that again. Uh, bah, 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 bah. See, I body blocked the bomb there. And that's the that's the weird thing about this run. All right, all right, come on. Time to go, thank you. Okay, uh, we have unlimited keys virtually, and we have 20 coins. So yeah, let's head into the shop. We're gonna grab this black candle, which gives you a black heart in the top left, and also gives you curse immunity. So you can't get curse of the loss, curse of this, curse of that, curse of the black. I hate curses so much. Normally, I don't really, like, not a big fan of, like, defensive items, but, dude, curses are so terrible. Also, this is a justice, justice. tarot card, which will spawn random things. And that's why I put it down here, in case there was a bomb like that. And we still gotta use our death card. Okay, let's keep going. So if it's a particularly annoying room, I'll use the death card to uh, get rid of all the ads. The mushrooms over here have a ton of HP. So let's get rid of those guys. Yeah, mushrooms can also drop pills. Pills are either good or bad effects, but I hate pills. I'm so bad with RNG that I typically get bad effects. Okay, our boss is the husk. We're gonna use the box of friends and deal massive damage to him. Just be very careful and that's that. And there's our angel room as well. That's more speed. Uh, it's giving me the bad, like, syringe items. So I don't think I'm gonna take that. Let's go in here. Uh, this is Blood of the Martyr, which gives you a flat damage up, which you can look on the left there. Uh, 1.26 damage up. Anything over one damage is usually pretty good. Now, blue fires can give you soul hearts. No, nope. okay, that's fine. So yeah, I was gonna do that anyways. We wanna bomb this angel because we'll get a certain something. I just like, ah, come on. I just like to do it to do it, but they're basically, oh my God, I'm so bad at fighting the angels. Still to this day, I've killed like a thousand of these guys and still to this day, they're able to get me. Okay, so doing that gets us key piece one. And if we do that again with another angel room, we will get key piece two, or at least if we found like another angel to bomb. 
Uh, I don't think I want that. I by, I don't remember exactly what it's going to be speed and something else, but like we already have 1.6 speed, and if we take it more, it's going to be too much. Now, we didn't full clear this room, but that's okay. We're going to go down. Whee! Let's keep going. So yeah, we're making good time. This is why I like resetting for like something decent, just because I'm so impatient, man. I don't want to go through uh through through the you know the caves for the thousandth time after I've done it four billion times, and then like you know just just slog through with no damage and nothing nothing decent. So yeah, is resetting kind of lame? Yes, but like I said, if I have a goal in mind, if I'm just playing to play, then okay. But if I have a goal in mind, I want to reach that goal. Okay, we have a chest room over here in the unlimited keys, like I said. So let's go ahead and open all this stuff. Get some bombs, get some keys, get some money. Red chest could be good or bad. That was good. We got three blue flies, which deal damage to our enemies. Uh, so yeah, if like I said, if I was being really, really meticulous, what I could be doing is checking every single room for secret rooms and super secret rooms and also blowing up every single rock because you have a chance to get a crawl space. Let's do that. Let's see here. Light it up. There we go. So you can make a little bridge like that. That's basically unlimited bombs, which we already have. Uh, but I am too lazy. It's not really that I'm too lazy. I'm too impatient to check every single rock. But yeah, you'll have a chance to get a crawl space, which can give you some free items. Okay, here we want to be careful. Uh, so this one's weird. You have to go like... Let's line it up correctly and then go like that. Yeah, and that makes a little bridge there. Gets us a free black heart. We don't need the key, so I'm not even going to bother. Ooh, interesting. Okay, these guys don't damage you, but they will uh, steal your use items charge. And even though I'll get the charge back before the boss anyways, I'd rather that not happen. Okay. I just realized that actually might kill me, <laughs> what I just picked up. So that's a new item that, like, gives you more eyes. Meaning, yep, yep. Oh, I think I just killed the run, actually. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, man, if we get host hat now... What's the other explosion immunity? Oh yeah, pyro. There's an item that uh, gives you, is it called pyro? There's an item that gives you 99 bombs, but there's a different item that also you'll heal from explosions. So if we had that, or if we had host hat, we'd have explosion immunity, and then we'd be, we'd be gods right now. We, we would be a god. Okay, lover card is whack. Just gives you, man, lots and lots of pills. Okay, let's try to get all these mushrooms exploded just on that, just for that little tiny chance that we would get the, uh, get the magic mushroom item, which is an all stats up, one of the better boss items that you can get. What? Oh, see, yeah, okay, so we grabbed the more eyes. Okay, I'm gonna use the death card in here, by the way, since there's gonna be a lot of ads. There we go. Also looking for tinted rocks. Not seeing a lot of those lately. It feels like they've definitely nerfed the spawn rate for tinted rocks, but I actually don't know. Let's check the shop. We got, oh God, I gotta remember, we have the more eyes thing. So yeah, we got the more eyes item, which basically fires tears randomly, like in different directions. And our tears happen to be bombs that can hurt us. So we have to be very, very careful like that right there. Jeez. Okay, let's grab all that. Uh, you can kill these shopkeepers. I used to think that they would take away from your angel room chance, but I guess they don't. All right, let's go up. We already got our item room and we're doing pretty well on all of like consumables and stuff. So we basically just wanna, no! Oh, how did that bomb even, I saw that and I was like, that's a cursed chest, isn't it? Son of a bee. Balls of steel pill. Yeah, it's always this, man. Why I don't use pills in a nutshell, right there. Okay, uh, let's give this guy our 17 coins. So these guys will pay out with a health up eventually. And right now we're doing well, but man, I probably should really have not have taken up. Okay, I didn't even know he could give you this item. The luck foot is like a flat one luck up, and then I think you have a higher chance of winning like arcade games or something, but I've always treated it as like a very benign item. Yeah, we were doing really well, but that more eyes pick up, unless we get explosive immunity, is gonna be scary. Let's use the box of friends. Okay, this guy charges you. Gotta be very careful. There we go. Okay, Blood Clot is a damage up for like every other tier, but I don't know how it works with bombs or if it even works with bombs on any level. No angel room or devil room, but that's okay. Let's keep going down. All right, so now we need health, basically. Health. We could really use some health. 
Okay, so we're in the depths one. I have to remember when we go to the depths two to hold the right trigger to drop my trinket in the bottom left uh, in the boss room. Because then th what that'll do is like when we go back down, we're going to go back up. And then it'll turn into a cracked key piece which we could use to unlock Tainted Lilith. Which has a really cool like mechanic to her. And I really want that. Now if we can beat the final boss. Oh, that was the blood clot. So it does, yeah, it does work on bombs. Yeah, the red blood clot. The, yeah, the blood clot has like a red effect. Showing that you're dealing extra damage for that particular shot. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. So this guy's in the ground, and I hate him to death because he's really annoying. He'll just pop up on you when you least expect it. But if you keep track of where he is, you're good. All right, now we need health, so I'm going to have to scan every room for tainted rocks and hope that just some health spawns here. Oh, wow. It just thundered outside really loud, and I was not ready for that. Oh, ba, 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 ba. Whew. There's a tainted, ro uh, tinted rock in the top left. It has a little X in the bottom uh, right of it, if you can see that. So let's blow that up and hope for some soul hearts here. Nice. We got the double. That's really good. Okay, let's blow up all the uh, little skulls, too, because they can give you a black heart. Okay, let's go this way. Just go! Oh, get away from these guys. Man, we're going to have to watch for those, like, double and triple bombs. So carefully. I didn't see that over there. Oh, man. Yeah, picking up more eyes was a mistake. That was a moron move. Uh, okay, so watch this. You can, like, shoot a bomb over there and then shove this chest. I kind of missed it, though. Huh! You can kind of shove this chest over here, but I don't know if it's really worth it. So close, though. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Daddy wants you. Huh! No! Are you serious? Huh! Okay. Huh. You know, I, I I kind of expected that to happen. We don't even need bobs. We can't pick up any red hearts. That's completely useless. <gasps> Down we go. All right, these guys jump, and then there's dudes that are coming out of the ground as well, and one of them's invisible, and I think he's still alive. Yep, you can barely see him. And so now it gets a little tricky how to kill this guy because we have to time the bomb. Okay, 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 okay. Jeez Louise. Okay, we have Awaz as a rune in the bottom right, which will let us skip a floor. Which is not really great for what we're trying to do here. Oh, boy. This room is going to be nuts. Okay. Okay. So, that's like a double chub boss. And they don't like bombs, but they also have a ton of health and are really freaking annoying because they just take so much damage. I don't like anything that takes a million damage in Isaac. Okay. We do. Ooh, that was close. He spawned a host. Oh my god, these more eyes bombs. Just like randomly firing bombs. Are... Alright, you gotta go, Chubb. So yeah, we can leave a bomb to keep him in place. There we go. Now he's got some ads all over the place. Huh. Okay, we blew up the other skull. Let's get rid of these guys from here in relative safety. Huh. Huh. Oh, you little... These guys charge, so you gotta be very careful. They'll charge your... Okay, can you please die? Thank you so much. Probably should have used Box of Friends in that room. Huh. Don't really need to be picking up keys. We're just kind of wasting time by doing that. We have unlimited keys. Okay, you can have that. Thank you. Let's go down here. Okay, these guys jump. But luckily, we got a really good... Ooh. In well, not interesting at all. So the scissors trinket will, like, if there's a troll bomb or a mega troll bomb, it'll, like, snip it, and it'll just turn into a normal bomb. It's a nice trinket to have. But nothing major. Uh, no, thank you. We also found a secret room over here. Okay, let's get these chests. Let's do that. And again, we just have to watch out since we're firing bombs in all directions now. Okay, and we have unlimited keys, so we can go ahead. No, oh, you son of a... Mm. One thing I'm still not good at, man, is seeing those cursed chests. I'm not good at the tell. I think I don't even know what the tell is. I think it's got like a slight discoloration to it. No, you did not fire the bomb exactly where I was going to end up. Okay, come on. Spawn. Spawn. Where you at? Anything that like disappears and reappears is really annoying to deal with when you have epic fetus or doctor fetus. Okay, there we go. Just like the host, they're invincible, then they go up. And yeah, anything that you have to time with the bomb is really annoying with this item. Okay, what do we have in our item room? What the heck is that? That's a newer item? I don't know about with the new th with the new update, but it's definitely newer. Uh, yeah, sure. Pop eyeball tears. Okay, any tear modifiers typically are fine because they either don't do anything with the bombs, which the bombs are already... 
How did how did I get myself stuck in the doorway? Are you serious? Oh my god, it is thundering hard. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to pick up on that. Uh man, where are the tinted rocks at? They seriously nerfed the spawn rate of those. For sure. Used to be whenever you get a room with like a ton of rocks, it's very likely you'll see a tinted rock. Okay, so yeah, anything out of time like these hosts are just really annoying. Okay, we got one. Huh? Perfect. Okay, need HP, so we're gonna blow up these skulls. Ooh, what's that? Double active? Okay, so yeah, AWAS is not really, or AWAS or however you pronounce it, it's not really all that helpful for us since we're gonna go down and then back up. Normally, it just lets you go further and further down and skip problematic floors. Okay, don't get sucked into the spikes on that one. It's a little tricky when you have a lot of speed. Check this room for any tinted rocks. I do not see any. Also, they change the rocks a lot. Like, from the previous thing, so it's kind of harder. Okay, so we're going to go in here. We're going to pop the box of friends, double up our familiars. So now we should have a ton of damage. This is Monstro 2, and he... Get the heck away from me, bomb. Oh, my God, look at all those bombs. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, there's a way to, like... There's a way to kind of manipulate Monstro 2 and make him really easy, but you can't really do that with what we got. Okay. Okay. Now this is damage up, so I'm gonna take it. Speed and damage. All the all the syringe items are usually speed and something else. Uh, so the purple one's good. The gray one's good as well. Damage, damage, damage. Uh, we have a devil room here, but if we don't take it, we'll probably get an angel room. Or do I just check it anyways? We've got one more floor after this. So we probably check this, but what I'm looking for is health, which is crappy because we in devil rooms you have to give health to get the items. Do I just try to hope for an angel room on the next floor? I think I do. I think I say, no thank you, Mr. Devil. And I hope for an angel room on the next floor. Okay, and let's be smart. I'm going to hold right trigger here. And that's going to drop our trinket. I'm going to pick back up the card, though. So this trinket, when we come back up, will turn into a different trinket that we can use to unlock Tainted Lilith. I just got to remember when we come back up to the Depths 1 to pick that up. And I've been forgetting constantly. So do not forget. Please, GV, please don't forget. Okay, we got our item room, so let's go down. We One last floor, and we got to make our way back up to the top. Okay, the Necropolis 2. Let's go this way. Now, we just got to be very careful. I don't think we're going to be able to beat the final boss. I mean, that would be lovely. But again, if I unlock Tainted Lilith, I'll call it a win. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, this is a, uh, this is a really annoying situation. This is super freaking annoying. Okay, yeah, we have spiders and hosts. Hosts you can't hit until they're up, and then spiders are just skidding around. So that's like, this is about like a 9 out of 10 to not take damage in that room unless you're a god with a bomb item. All right, we need some health, man. I would love, 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 love to get... Oh, we got a black heart down there. Nice. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Anything that skitters around it, just the most annoying thing with, with Dr. Fetus. Okay, so this is how you get this stuff without risking, because you can, like, go diagonally down and grab that, but I'm not messing with that. So you can, like, use a bomb to shove them out. Now, what is that room? Don't you do that. There you go. Ansas will reveal the map, so we'll go ahead and use that. Grab the double active card again. We'll save the double active for the final boss, because that actually might be really strong. This needs to be the Hierophant card. The Chariot card. Okay, that's invincibility. Uh, so, yeah, let's take that and we'll use that. Okay, I have to remember. I Oh, God. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so, yeah, the masks are invincible until you kill the heart that goes with them. Uh, let's kill the skulls for a chance at a black heart, which is, a, like, a low chance, I think. So you can pre-fire the bomb and then go close to activate the host and kill it, like, right on the frame that it spawns, which is a advanced tactic. Okay. Let's go into the item room. What do we have in here? Uh, man, I've been seeing this in, like, every freaking run. The scooper. It scoops out an eyeball and, like, causes it to go around and damage enemies, but Box of Friends is too good to pass up. Okay, let's use the chariot card in the big room coming up and then go back and grab our double active card. Oh, this is really yeah, this is really annoying too. So you have to kill these guys twice, basically. What is that? Get out of jail free card. Oh, I haven't seen this yet. In this file at least. Get out of jail free, I think, opens all doors. 
Yeah, and you can use that to go to like a super duper end game boss. But uh, why did I shoot bombs there? But yeah, we're not gonna really be able to use that with what we're doing. Okay, so we're gonna use the chariot card here, get some invincibility, kill everything really nice. Why? What's still alive? Oh, look at this guy. Heck out of here. Okay, let's search these skulls. This is gonna be slow going. Oh my god! That was the more eyes there. The moon card takes us to a secret room, but kind of useless because we already know where they are. Okay, some more skulls over here. Ooh, that was a nice bomb. Here, a fan card, please. The tower card spawns a bunch of bombs, but we're good on that respect. Okay, so there's a secret room there, which we are able to see from, oh my god, look at that secret room. Literally exactly what we needed. And now we can kill this angel to get the second key piece as well. Okay, just gotta be careful. Ah! That was lucky. Pretty nice. And we get key piece too. So basically doing that lets you go to Mega Satan. There's like, if you go to one of the super end game floors, there will be a giant golden door. You need key piece one, key piece two to unlock the big golden door. Or I think you can use the uh, get out of jail free card that we just found, which will open the door too. Or you can use dad's key, which will also open the door. There's a couple of ways to do it. But we're not going to Mega Satan, unfortunately. I mean, we could, it's one of the harder bosses, but I want to go all the way. Why did I shoot a bomb there? That's scary. Okay, perfect, we need soul hearts, good. Uh, if this is the hero fan card, man, we just won, basically. The stars card takes you to a shop, but it is a teleport. Uh, let's donate the rest of this money. This is like in between runs, you're trying to get this machine up to 999. So we'll add a little progress there. Let's bomb up here, where there's our other secret room. Keys are useless, but that's all right. Uh, okay. So now, we need, how do we do this? I need to find, well, we can use the stars card though, right? Yeah. Yes. I'm trying to remember how I have to do the, uh, the new stuff, basically. Oh, great, walking hosts. Okay, this is another really annoying room. Open up, dude. Ah! Open up, man! I, this is why I hate hosts completely. They just like, they will troll you and just never open when you need them to open. And then, yeah, they're invincible otherwise. And so I got shoved out of the door. Okay, let's go up here. So yeah, with what we're trying to do, we need a uh, way to get out of this boss. Cause this boss coming up will be locked into the room and forced to go forward. Now what they did was, okay, watch this. So we're gonna have him charge me, put a bomb, and then he stays in place, and then we can bomb and do it again, since we have, what, 13 bombs? Hey, but, oh my god, charge me, please. Thank you. Okay, you can have that. I like just chilling in the corner, waiting till everything explodes and is done. All right, let's check for black hearts here. Oh, that was nice. Ooh, black heart, good. Okay. Yoink. Thank you. Yeah, so how they did this was, you need a way to uh, warp warp out of the final boss, which we do have with the stars card. It'll take you to the item room. Ugh. But they also, on this floor, they'll give you a uh, a skull, like one of these. Yeah, like one of, oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh. So freaking stressful. What's this? Judgment spawns a beggar. What's up, dude? Uh, so yeah, they'll give you like a skull that has an X on it on this floor. And uh, you can destroy that skull to get a fool card. Which, okay, buddy, please get away from me. You're random, you shouldn't be targeting me. Which will uh, take you back to the starting room. Now, what's that? Hagalaz destroys everything in a room. All right, so we take, we have to, before we walk into this door, we have to take a warp, which we have. The stars card will warp us out. But if you don't have a teleport, you can search this entire floor and find a skull with a little X on it. And then that, uh, destroying that will give you the full card. Then you can use that to warp back to the starting room. But we're good on that respect. So, let's go. Isaac. Yes, mother. Use box of friends. And we just have to remember to get the double active card because that'll really help us with the, yeah. This is a real bad, so you can see why Dr. Fetus is good, but also bad. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Fetus is good, but also bad, because it will, uh, it will just, it causes a lot of, 
if you don't get explosive immunity, you have to be very careful with your bombs, especially if you have an item that's shooting multiple bombs out that you can't predict. Okay, so now uh, normally you would have to go forward because there's no way out of this room. But we take uh, one of these cards, it doesn't matter. This will determine a future end boss if you keep going down, but we're going to go back up now, which is another route they added with Repentance. So it doesn't matter which card we take. We'll take the Polaroid. We'll use the Stars card, warp out of this room, go back to the item room on this floor. I want to grab that double active item card, which is there, because that's going to like cause, like basically triple my damage uh, with the boss. I just have to not blow up myself to death. Okay, now we have to make it back to the starting room. So there's that. Now, once you do a certain thing in the new content, this door will be here. And when you get either the Polaroid or the negative after killing Mom, you're all keeping up, right? Uh, you could use it on this door and then go down a secret path. And I just got to remember to grab the thing when I go back up. Yes, okay. Down we go. Whee! So we got one more floor. We have to find the boss room and then we start going back up to the top. And again, if I can, if I can go all the way, that'd be great. Who doesn't like going all the way? Know what I mean? Okay, touch that. Kills everything immediately. Thank you. Now, there is an item room on this floor, but we're pretty much end game build. I mean, we really don't need anything at the moment, unless the item room just happens to be like amazing. Oh my God. We just don't want to take damage here. We just want to do this floor without taking damage. Um, Yeah, let's, let's search these chests in case they have hearts. That's a lot of money. Okay, come here. Uh, no, no, no! So lame. Okay. Yeah, we just cannot afford to take damage anymore. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No, dude. Okay, dude. Please die. Oh, what an annoying room this is. <sighs> okay. Yeah, so I am not well-versed in these new... Really, man? Wow, okay. Yeah, here's what I'm talking about, about getting hit by your own bombs. It's happening a lot now. Okay. All right, jump that. No! Oh, my God, I barely avoided damage there. Okay, open up. Ugh. All right, black heart, please, from these skulls. There's more hosts. Hate hosts. Hosts are so annoying. Uh -huh. Hey, red fires in the corners will shoot us. Gotta be careful about that. Please die. Thank you. Go into the shop. What do we got? Oh, everything's nice. BFF is great. It makes all your familiars bigger. I don't know if that really matters, though, with what we have for our familiars. But, again, Lilith's all about familiars. So, yes, we will take that. Eight coins left. We're going to pick up this tarot card in the case that is a Hierophant card, which will give us three, uh, two free soul hearts. The High Priestess will be Mom stomping down. So, yeah, actually, let's take this card and use that for free damage. Like right here. Bam. Goodbye. Uh, sir? Wow. Ba mm. Barely avoided that. Okay, secret room there. Oh, this is getting stressful, man. Uh, hello. Okay, nothing in here. Goodbye. Let's go back and grab that double active card now. Right there. Thank you. See ya. Okay, if I see the boss room, I'm just getting out of here. I'm not I'm not exploring for the, uh, oh my god. Uh, 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 no. Ooh. I'm not exploring for the item room. What is going on in here? Um, oh my god. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh no, oh, you don't want to do that. You don't want to reset the room. God, this is too much, man. Tell me I didn't reset that room. Ah! Hate this floor, it's so much. Okay, jeez, please relax. Relax, please. Tinted rock down there, that's damage up and speed down, which we actually want to be sped down right now. Yeah, damage up, uh, tears up and negative speed. Nice. Okay, I saw there was a soul heart in here. Let's go back and grab that. And also let's try to check for a black heart. Here, a fan card, come on. The devil, okay. Your fan card, man. I know it exists. And a host, no. Okay, go into the boss room. I'm saying, okay. Oh boy, I know there's a lot for people that don't know anything about this game. Uh, yeah, so now when you get to here, instead of it being a boss, uh, because we, you, we did the secret thing, you know, we, 
we uh, put the Polaroid on the secret door and did all that. Instead of it being a boss, it's now dad's letter, and then that reverses everything and then causes us to go back up. And I just have to remember to grab that trinket on the way back up. And then, yeah, if, again, if we can go all the way, that's great. But all I want to do is unlock Lilith. Okay, so we grab this. Dad's note. Get some lore. Reverses everything. I spent it. It's gone. Just get over it. What do you mean? What do you mean it's gone? Mm. How can you have spent our savings? Mm. Are you serious? Oh, that was an awful room. Awful room. Ugh. So we're at the point where we take a full heart of damage. So that was like three hearts lost. That was bad. All right, next floor up, I got to grab that trinket. Not this one, though, right? Depths, too. Yeah, next floor up. Oh, that was bad. That might have just killed our chances at going all the way. But you never know. It is Isaac, after all. Anything can happen. But now we basically need HP. But, uh, oh, no. This... Are you serious with this room, dude? Oh, I should have just bombed out. Okay, all right. Relax, man. We don't need a hundred thousand explosions and like just insane and insanity. Oh my god, it just never ends once this starts happening. Okay, you need to go, dude. No, you need to go, please. Jeez, please. All right, kind of need a black heart from one of these uh, skulls here. That would be great. Your fan card, please. The high priestess. Man, oh man. All right, let's use that now. Get rid of some enemies for free. Be very good. No! Oh, we barely avoided our self-bombing. Jeez. All right, grab this card again. Don't lose this card, because this might be our only hope. Okay, so yeah, you're basically just looking for this beam of light. You're going back up each He's floor now. He's destructive and disturbed, just like his father. Look at who he has to look up to. And you're drunk again, aren't you? Shut up, Mac. Shut up! You just keep I pushing me like this. I'm leaving. Good. Leave. We'll be fine without you. Abandon us like you've abandoned yourself. I always forget you can't use the card because you have to come back and grab. So this is what I was talking about, the cracked key. Uh, you have to come back and grab this. So our, so our nose goblin trinket turned into this. And that's how you unlock, uh, yeah, alternate Lilith. But I keep forgetting. Yeah, you can't use the, uh, you can't take another. No! Oh, my God. You can't take another usable. Because you have to use that, but all right, I have to concentrate like crazy now. Ooh, might be able to make something happen here. I have to be really careful though. Um, okay, here's the play. We bomb this poop here. We don't use our attack because it could spawn bombs and then kill this guy. Now we have a million keys. If this guy pays out, no, not that. Stop. If this guy pays us out with soul hearts or hearts, we could actually go all the way. I guess we'll use pills to see if it's balls of steel. Speed up. Ugh, don't really want speed, but all right. All right, so yeah, we have enough keys to give this guy like a billion keys, which will keep giving us chests, which actually, man, this could be really good. Magic eight ball, which gives you shot speed and spawns a card. Two of spades doubles your keys. So if we get down to 50 keys, we can literally double them again. Okay, come on, man. I need soul hearts. I need soul hearts or black hearts, okay? That's all I'm asking for. Soul hearts or black hearts, okay? What do you got? Okay, red chest can give you soul hearts. Okay, speed up, no, we don't want that. Random pill. Balls of steel. 48 hour energy spawns uh, energy that charges up your use item in the top left. Okay, this room's gonna get kind of insane. There's gonna be a lot of stuff going on here. I don't know if this guy leaves eventually. Typically, you don't have enough keys to play this guy this many times. You know, typically you, you have a few keys that you can give to him. Okay, you're taking a lot of keys, buddy. Thank you. Okay, gold chest can give you items. Uh, all right, what's this? Awaz does nothing. So I think we just use this to get rid of it because it won't even do anything now that we're going up. Okay, come on, buddy. I need hearts, hearts, okay? Guppy's tail, interesting. Maybe we can become Guppy. We need two more Guppy items, which can spawn an out of red chests. Again, everybody's keeping track of everything I'm talking about, right? Okay, yeah, I need hearts, my dude. Hearts, hearts. I know that's a hard thing to ask for, but freaking red chests can give you hearts. It's just not at all. Okay, come on. No! Just couldn't do it, huh? Just could not do it. Okay, fair enough. 
That could have been godlike. That could have been amazing. Oh no! Luckily we got lucky, there's a soul heart down here, but yeah, anything that spawns like on top of you, I keep getting hit by over and over and over again. Okay, let's find that beam of light. There it is. Man, I really want to beat the whole thing, but it's gonna be so hard. No! No! <laughs> Heart, okay, that's yeah, that's an HP up. Also spawns a random trinket. But penny, wealth of gas, so every time you take damage, you fart, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Okay, uh, all right. Yeah, it's not even so much, oh my god, it's not even so much. So this is, yeah, like I said, this is the bad thing of Dr. Fetus, is that it can be really hard to be safe and like, no, not get hit by your bombs. So yeah, we have to play extremely safe here on out. Huh. Okay, red heart, but I need soul or black hearts, please. <gasps> soul or black you hearts. To repent. You need to Never took that item, sins. so we can take it now, and but it's not going to help us. Let his light inside you cleanse your you soul. You are insane. <laughs> you are taking this too far. Can't you hear how you sound? Pray with me. Pray for your soul. Come, pray with us. Oh yeah, it's every time we pick up a penny, we fart. That's what it is. Okay. All right. <laughs> Item, please. Health, please. Curved horn is good. Curved horn is a flat two damage up. One of the best trinkets in the game. Okay. Although, when it comes to bombs... Ah! Okay, gotta be very careful. Yeah, so when you go back up... Oh my god, please. Just relax. Going back up always stresses me the hell out, man. It's just like explosion, 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 explosion. And now we are exploding things too. So we're we're not we're not helping the problem here. Okay, we're that beam of light, though. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we do have a leech familiar, by the way, which is um, yeah. So it's that Cambian conception item that Lilith starts with, that red little fetus-looking thing, which will spawn if you take enough hits, will spawn. How did you hit me, man? We'll spawn a permanent familiar. Okay, come on. Health, health, health. That's good. We got our health, our red heart back, but I need, like, extra health. Oh, Isaac. Basement two. Okay, this floor and then one last floor. And that's it. Yeah, we're working our way back to the top where we started. I'm also destroying all the poops, although I can't tell if that's red poop or... Oh, it's red poop. Red poop doesn't give you any drops. No, you will not. Do not touch me. Oh, you guys are being annoying. Uh -huh. Let my little leech kill you, please. Whew. Okay. Gotta dodge this thing shut. All right, now we have a free spot over here. Huh. Beautiful. No tinted rocks, right? Nope. Up we go. All right, this is a free room, thankfully. Watch me get hit, though. Okay, do that. Just gotta be careful. Just gotta land a bomb right in the middle there. Activate that TNT. There we go. Come on. There we go. Get him. Beautiful. Okay, let's go this way. There it is. Whoop. One floor. We just, The problem is we just don't have enough health to go all the way. That's why I'm already, like, sounding defeated. We kind of just need some health. We Drops! This is an awful room! Ah! Why must it always be like this? Oh, my God. Freaking spiders, man. I want to curse, but I'm trying not to for YouTube. Please, Something good. Please, yeah, you will not pay us. out with health, will you? Shut up, Mom. Doesn't help that Mom is just blathering on and on and on and on. All right, do that. Okay, try not to kill this guy. Try not to kill... Oh, yeah, I should just leave a bomb there. What am I doing? I was like, that's too close. Balls of steel. Bombs are key. Okay, it just replaces our keys. It switches our keys and our bombs. All right, all right. Oh God. Okay. Uh, okay. Whew. Let's destroy the pots just in case they some. I don't even know if you can get health out of these. I'm pretty sure you can. Stranger things have happened though. All right, let's go down. Oh my God. Uh, whoop. Okay, you kind of have to make spots for yourself. So yeah, we got Guppy's tail, which uh, gives you a high. No, I saw it. It was the blood in the bottom right. I saw it that time. I was like, nope, that's a cursed chest. 
And I thought, I thought it was the blood. Yeah, I thought there was like, oh, that was beautiful. Ooh, okay. Nice, one hit kill. Get rid of these guys from far away. Everything just explodes into tears now though. Okay, where is the end? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, could make something happen here. We need this to pay out. This needs to pay out soul hearts. Yes! Come on, man. I don't ask for much. Yes! It's already good. Thank you. Your fan card? The sun card is really good. Okay, we're gonna use the two of spades now. Double our keys. Grab the sun card. Pay out with soul hearts. Your fan? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Soul hearts. Okay, thank you. Two, uh, two's all I can ask for. Okay, now we got the sun card, which is interesting. The sun card heals all your red hearts. So we do have like a two heart heal, and there it is. Oh my gosh. We've made it back. Okay, so now this is the home. We're gonna bomb this carpet even though it does nothing. Gonna open this chest, which is just a random golden chest. I feel like this should be an item chest, like when you're in the chest floor. I feel because every chest turns into an item. I should feel like that should be an item, but whatever. Good, we can go over here. Oh, another, oh, wow. Okay, that was lucky. This is like a random pickup and we lucked out that it was a golden chest and then we lucked out that it was an item inside. Yeah, tears and shot speed up. If only that was HP, but can't complain. <gasps> Did I not take the thing? Why do I do this? Why do I do this, man? I don't know who was, who was watching in the comments and realized when I did that, but... Why do I do this? I keep doing this every run and like I can't, it's the most crushing feeling. So, yeah, it's gonna be hard to notice because my webcam's blocking it. I had the cracked key piece, which basically what you do is, if you make it back here, you come to like this spot right here. I'll show you actually over here. So this is always an item right here, by the way. Does it use a key? No. Speaking of keys, mom's key, better chest loot plus two keys, which is literally useless. So that's terrible. This is always an item and that was like a terrible pickup there, but it's all right. Uh, so now we sleep in the bed and it turns everything scary. Okay, that man. Why do I do this to myself, man? All right, so then why can't I see it? Is it because we don't have the key piece? It's because we don't have the key piece. So normally if you have either the red key use item, which you can use multiple times, or the cracked key piece uh, usable, which is used up once, when you come to this spot right here, there's like a faint red outline of a door. You either use the red key or the cracked red key piece to open it, and inside is the alternate version of the character that you're playing. But I was dumb as hell, and I forgot, and I left it for a tarot card, and so now there I can't get in there, which is the most annoying thing ever, and I keep doing this. So no Lilith unlock, but at the very least, we can try to beat this. I don't think it's gonna be possible because all I can take is five hits, which is not true. If I get down to one red heart, I can use the sun card to heal me uh, back to two red hearts, but I'm just not good at this boss fight. I've only beaten it twice, and it's like, it's hard. And plus we have bombs. I don't even know how that's gonna work with this. Oh my God, GV, why do you forget everything? Why? Wah! All right, oh well, there's only one thing to do now. So, how do we do this? All right, here's the strategy for the, this is the final boss. This is one of the final paths. There's like, I don't know, three, four, five, six different like final paths. This is one of the hardest bosses in the Binding of Isaac currently, I would say. Well, like one of the hardest final things. Is it the hardest? Eh, probably just depends on what you're good and bad at. So I'm probably just gonna focus the hell up because we have random bombs which are gonna hit myself and then we have, <laughs> all I'll say is if we manage to do this, that that's, that's like, 10 out of 10 like difficulty with what we currently have but let's do it so yeah the strategy is just gonna be hopefully landing these bombs not bombing myself and then if i see that i have one red heart left in the top left i'm gonna hit the sun card which will heal me back to three red hearts and then i can take two extra hits and then we're not gonna use the box of friends we have to save the box of friends for the final phase because if we use it here we're not gonna have it in that final phase okay here goes nothing
The dogma fight! Okay. Just bombs and avoiding. No. Come on. Yeah, and I'm just not... Just not that good with this thing's attacks yet. Like this I get. How? Yeah, the brimstone thing I don't get. You stay on the side, I guess? I... Okay, this is just avoiding the... Yeah, avoiding that. Okay, avoiding. Do they come back to him? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, that's phase one. Here's phase two. Yeah, the problem is I just had... The problem is I just have to watch my bombs and like that's taking too much too much effort to like even attack this thing. And I can't land attack. Come on! Alright, gotta use the sun card. Ugh. Wow, and hit immediately. Oh, that's so lame. It's just this build is not good for this moment in time, man. Where? <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, too much. Too much. Ah, uh, what an unfortunate run, man. Well, I mean, we had an amazing run last time, right? So it had to e even out. That sucks, man. Ah. Uh. The problem with this is that I keep wanting to do this, this route, so that I unlock the alternate characters. But if you're not able to fully beat it, you get no completion marks. The other ones, if you get to Mom where she's stomping you and the hands are coming out of the doors, if you keep going forward, you can still get completion marks and then maybe not go all the way, but you can still like check things off that you have to do for each character. With this route, what I just did, forgetting to bring the key and unlocking the character and then also not being able to beat the final boss, we got nothing. <laughs> Nothing. So that's the worst feeling. But it is what it is. I, I tried my best, but yeah, having to watch for the bombs and then given that this character is going all over the place, you have to land the bomb shots. Too difficult with what we had. Uh, and I should have just honestly used the box of friends and then get to the final thing. So this was phase two out of like three, but the final phase is an entirely different thing, which I don't even want to spoil because I might do it on, you know, YouTube and show you guys. Oh, that's sad, man. That's sad. I feel sad. Isaac has been kicking my ass lately, man. But I'm getting better slowly but surely. So there it is. That was an hour long run, so I'd love to do another one and get a win, but ain't no way. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Nothing for Lilith. So you like we look at other characters, you see at the top left all the all the stuff we've done. You can see like with some characters I've done a lot, like Judas. Judas is my favorite character. But with Lilith, absolutely nothing. Oh, it hurts. But it is what it is. Either way, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Again, if you want to see more Isaac, please leave a comment. Uh, the side stuff doesn't really get any views at all, so I don't expect anything. I just try to have fun with it. But, um, yeah, if you want to see more, let me know. Uh, thank you so much to the patrons supporting me and what I do over on Patreon. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye! Uh... Ha 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 